Developed by the Farangul Corporation in 542 ACE, the Battleir was intended to be the standard heavy fighter of the Regium, offering higher mobility, speed and versatility than existing light strike ships. However, after the suspicious death of the Farangul chairman, the new leadership began secretly supplying the Omnium with a copy of the Battleir leading to a situation where battleers from one side faced off against battleers from the other. Both sides would modify their ships over time, but ultimately it came down to the quality of the crews, and both the Regium and the Omnium were evenly matched on this score. For over one and a half centuries, the clash of the battleers played a large part in the outcome of the greatest power struggle of the era. Later, the breakaway Divinium would use the Battleir as well, and would entice the Farangul leadership to throw their lot in with them, to become the exclusive light vessel manufacturer of the Divinium. At 33 meters long and 27 meters wide, the Battleir is a large ship when compared to fighters that would come after it. It is built around a 10-round torpedo launcher, which makes the class formidable against larger ships even today. It is also fitted with a pair of 8-round rocket launchers, as well as a pair of heavy plasmatic cannons. Protection was superior to other smaller ships of its day, with a buckler and repulsor plate armor. What used to be state-of-the-art, however, is now very average and its defenses offer little protection to modern cap and tack guns. The ship has a crew of two, a pilot and a weapons officer, seated in tandem. They have access to an escape pod that can help them survive a catastrophic disintegration, if they have time to access it. If not, ejection seats are able to clear them from their ship, but this option is only used as a last-ditch measure. Overall, the Battleir was effective in the role for which it was designed, but it has not aged well, and although many still remain in service with corporate and criminal navies, it is not the jack of all trades it once was. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you like this type of content, feel free to like the video and subscribe below. Also, you can check out the official website of Skane Saga at www.skanesaga.com. If you want to find out more about the Skane Saga universe, you can sign up for the Skane Saga membership on gumroad.com. This will give you access to detailed downloadable ebooks about the ships, factions, locations and characters that you will find in the Skane Saga universe. You can find all the details on the website. Look out for more video introductions to the starships of the Skane Saga universe coming soon.